Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how I test my IT mode HBA SAS controller cards. If you don't know, I have an eBay store called The Art of Server where I sell HBA SAS controllers that are pre-flashed to IT mode firmware. These cards are often used uh, with software RAID, ZFS, FreeNAS, Unraid, and other types of storage technologies that require direct access to each hard drive. Before I list these cards for sale on eBay, I run them through a variety of tests that I will show you today. So what I have here is the terminal screen to a server running Linux with uh, six LSI SAS 2008 based HBA cards that have already been flashed to IT mode. So let me show you that these cards are actually there. Okay, so you'll see there a listing of the six cards and it says SAS 2008 and so the first step in my testing process is to run a script that I wrote that tests a variety of things such as PCI link speed and width, firmware version, BIOS version, UEFI version, and a few other things. So I'm going to go ahead and run my test script now. So what this script does is first it uh, enumerates uh, or it tries to detect all the SAS 2008 based uh, cards that are connected. So whether it's one card to up to seven cards it'll uh, figure out how many are there and then once it detects them uh, here it says found six it'll go through and extract the flash uh, data and compare uh, a variety of things um, to certain values so for example you know is the firmware version correct is the firmware product ID correct is the uh, the board name correct and and so on and so forth uh, in addition to that, it, it looks at the PCI link speed. So these are PCIe 2.0 cards. Uh, so I make sure that the cards are linking at the correct speed and at the correct width. So these are uh, eight PCIe lane cards. So I make sure that they're actually connecting at um, that correct width. And so this is a motherboard with seven PCIe slots that uh, all can do at least um, by eight PCI lanes. And so, anyway, it goes through these to, to test that all that is working properly. And then it prints out also the SAS addresses. And so you'll see the six different uh, SAS addresses for each card there. And so that's a good sign. Um, what can happen sometimes is that when you're flashing a batch of these cards, and sometimes there's like one bad card in the mix it can interrupt the process and so subsequent cards might not get flashed correctly and when that happens you know, you know depending on where things break down um, the BIOS might not get flashed and so the BIOS version might you know say not available instead of the actual version number and so that that kind of stuff would show up here uh, also during the flashing process uh, this the flash memory has to be erased so I actually extract the SAS address, the original SAS address of the card out and save it in a file. And then once the flashing process is done, I flash that SAS address back into the card that it came from. And so if that gets interrupted, sometimes the address doesn't get written back to flash correctly and you'll see all zeros here instead of uh, what you see on the screen here. Uh, so anyway, in this case, uh, all, the, all the various tests here pass and um, so once all the cards pass this first step in the testing process the next thing i do is connect actual hard drives to the sas ports to make sure all four sas lanes on every port actually work this is actually a pretty important step because i've seen a lot of cards that were handled uh, improperly and capacitors or resistors or other components get knocked off the board and when that happens, uh, the card might seem like it works perfectly. You'll plug it in and it fires up and you'll see it and everything looks uh, just fine until you start connecting some hard drives. And then you'll find that not all the hard drives are, sh are showing up. So I'll show you how I do the cable test in the next segment here. Okay, so in this part of the testing, I run a program here that I wrote that shows me all the connected hard drives. These down here are messages from the kernel so I can see if there are any errors. And here's a summary of the number of hard drives that are connected right now. So you can see it's 16. And so we have here six, the six different cards that are in this uh, machine. They're connected by four 
SAS cables, each one carrying four SAS lanes. And so therefore we have 16 hard drives connected right now. And so, so far these two ports and these two ports are showing up. As you saw earlier in the screen, there are 16 hard drives, everything is showing up correctly. And so what I'll do here is I'll just kind of walk the cables through from controller to controller. I'll unplug this and uh, you'll see the my program there now shows that we're down to 12 hard drives. It's because I just unplugged the cable, so four hard drives have been unplugged. And then I'll plug it back in and we'll wait for the hard drives to come back. Okay, so now we're back to 16 drives, so that's good. That means that port is good, and so I'll go ahead and unplug another cable. I'll wait for it to detect that those four drives are gone, okay? And then I'll plug that cable back into uh, another controller here. And we'll see that the six, we're back to 16 hard drives. So th that that means the, that port is also good with all four SAS lines working. So I'll unplug another cable here. And we'll wait for those to disconnect. So it's down to 12 again. Plug it back into another controller. We're back to 16. Okay, I'll unplug another one here. Go back down to 12. And I'll plug that into another controller. We're back to 16, so that's good. That means those two ports for uh, the eight different SAS lanes there are all functioning correctly. All right, I'll unplug another cable, move to another controller here. Okay, that's good, we're back to 16. I'll unplug another one. We're down to 12 and then we plug that in to the next controller here. Okay, we're back to 16. So that controller is also uh, good to go with all eight functional SAS lanes. Okay, on to the last one here. Okay, and so we'll see that that's back down to 12. I'll plug it back into the last controller. We're back to 16. And then the last port here. Back down to 12. And hopefully this comes back as... Okay, so we're back to 16. So that completes the walkthrough of the cables through every SAS port on every card here. And uh, confirms that uh, all SAS lanes on every port on every card works. And so that will be a successful test. All right, so that concludes the, the entire testing process from running the test script to uh, physically testing the, the SAS lanes with cables and hard drives. And so if anybody needs an uh, uh, IT mode um, HBA card, um, Feel free to check out my eBay store, where I'll leave a link down in the description in this video here. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment or uh, contact me uh, on eBay. Thanks. Bye-bye.